Blood Rage. And Blood Rage, like Blood Freak, is a classic we watch regularly on Thanksgiving. This this isn't the first time. I think this is like the third Thanksgiving, probably in a row. It's funny to fourth, yeah. But it's it's truly a Thanksgiving classic. Uh, there's mm-hmm. twin brothers. One of them witnesses his mom porking a guy <laughs> and gets so distraught that he grabs a hatchet and then starts chopping some dude up. I don't even think it was the same dude. Fuck. Many times I've seen this. I don't know. I think he goes to another car where people are making out. Starts hacking people up. Manages to get them to blame the other brother who spends, you know, his childhood in some kind of rehabilitation facility while this other brother is pretending that he's not a murderer, but he is. <laughs> and then that brother is getting out of his rehabilitation and everybody thinks he's a killer, but it's the other brother. And incidentally, their mom has just started some relationship with another guy she's probably porking, and this dude is losing his shit and grabbing the machete now. And so all this killing starts up and it's really amusing, if not well done. For whatever reason, a guy is holding a can of beer and he lops <laughs> off the guy's beer hand and we see the hand with the can of beer land on the ground and then it wiggles. <laughs> And yes, there's no indication that this movie was trying to be funny at any point. He cuts um, a woman clean in half. Wait, I have to I have to interrupt because that part when they cut his hand off, mm-hmm. I think the first time we watched it, LG said they cut his beer off, and I will I always think of that whenever we watch it. <laughs> <laughs> because it's literally the hand with a PBR and. It just falls on the ground. <laughs> yeah, that is all. That's a movie, though. Like, Blood Rage, that was well done. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. 